Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Backyard Music Broadcast from Apple Valley, California. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. Thank you for joining us. Uh, got a really interesting segment today. A Washington, it's always, it's always interesting. They are. A, Was- a Washington-based firm has decided to build 30 micro-reactors in Haskell County, Texas, Eddie, named after Eddie Haskell. Last Energy has obtained control of a 200-acre site to provide power to off-takers via a mix of private wire and grid transmission. The facility is expected to serve American data center customers across the state. Quote, Texas is the energy capital of America, and we're working to be number one in advanced nuclear power, said Governor Abbott. Last Energy's microreactor project in Haskell County will help fulfill the state's growing data center demand. Texas must become a national leader in advanced nuclear energy. By working together with industry leaders like Last Energy, we will usher in a nuclear power renaissance in the United States. End quote. Would you like to know more? You, you go, Governor Abbott. He is, yeah. uh, man, he's a good guy. Yeah. Uh, last energy revealed that the Northwest Texas project will play a crucial role in adding capacity to the grid and meeting data center deployment projections. Texas is currently home to over 340 data centers, which consume, that's a lot. It is, which uh, consume nearly eight gigawatts of power and make up 9% of all Texas electricity demand. Uh, that's amazing because that's a big state. Uh, Brett Kogelman, uh, founder and CEO of Last Energy, stated that Texas is America's undisputed energy leader. But skyrocketing population growth and data center development are forcing policymakers, customers, and energy providers to embrace new technology. Quote, nuclear power is the most effective way to meet Texas demand, but our solution plug and play micro reactors designed for scalability and sitting uh, flexibility is the best way to meet it quickly. Texas is a state that recognizes energy is a, is a precondition for proster- prosperity and last energy is excited to contribute to that. Nice. Cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Last which, energy. Has- you know, let me just add this, which could very easily be the state of California if we didn't have a butthead for a governor. So anyway, well, if, if we didn't have a super majority that are Democrats too, yeah. I mean, they ruin everything, bonehead yeah. ideas. But he could veto. Yeah, he can veto. Good, but then, if they government. pass, if they pass it on the second go around with a super majority, then it becomes law. Yeah. Last Energy has already filed for a grid connection with the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, also called ERCOT, and. Following briefings with local stakeholders is preparing to file for an early site permit with the new U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Earlier, the company built two full-scale prototypes in Texas with local manufacturing partners. Last Energy has also held multiple demonstration events in Texas with industry and government stakeholders, including Houston, during CERA Week 2024, that's C-E-R-A Week. In addition to developing its site in Texas, Last Energy is exploring projects in Utah, according to a press release. Uh, Yeah, and another plug for California, not that I'm trying to plug my state, but we got a ton of oil here, and they're not doing much to pump it out of the ground, so that's really too bad. Maybe that'll change. Uh, Okay, Reed Clay, president of the Texas Nuclear Alliance, stated that Texas growing data center industry will require reliable and resilient power sources that operate 24 seven quote, nuclear energy is the self evident solution to the state's growing demand. Last energy's Haskell County project is a model of how ge- next generation nuclear can in, uh, integrate seamlessly into high demand industries and showcase how innovation can drive both energy security and the future global con- connectivity. Uh, that was uh, by Mr. Clay, Reed Clay. Okay, so I went to Last Energy's website, and I've got their company propaganda for you. We're going to tell you right now. Founded in 2019, Last Energy is an American micronuclear technology developer on a mission to unlock energy access by transforming nuclear plants from complex construction projects 
into a mass manufactured product, that that is a that'll be interesting to see. Well, and that's a fairly new company, right? Five, yeah. Five years yeah. Old, so yeah, cool. It's it's like building house pre prefabricated houses and popping them out, you know? Right. Last Energy's PWR20 produces 20 megawatt equivalent, is fully modular and designed for flexible siting, plug and play installation and rapid scalability. So that 20 megawatt, that's a, that's a lot of power. By uh productizing nuclear energy, Last Energy is transforming power generation for data centers, manufacturers, and other industrial customers throughout the United States and Europe. So no need for power lines, right? I mean, a, a bunch of power lines or tying into a grid that's 100 miles away and running lines to that. Well, these you've got to have power lines to deliver the power, right? Well, yeah, but these guys are showing up. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if you have a picture of this, but these things are like portable. They look like generators. Yeah, but you still got to get that electricity to, to the, uh, to a substation to get it out to the houses. But aren't they? Well, yeah, but I mean, when they're talking about these data centers, aren't they talking about just showing up and put a data a data center right next to the, the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm envisioning this. You're exactly right, um, Scott. But I, I'm envisioning why leave it at data centers? Why not power a, a city or a rural city or big cities? You know, or, or your own house, right? Almost like sour solar on your house. You could have one. Yeah, of these I don't think I'm qualified to run nuclear fissile material at my house. You don't want to put one of these between you and your next door neighbor? Well, I'd be a target by fanatics who would probably take their uranium and make a dirty bomb. Okay, we don't want to go there. All yeah. right, Last Energy uh, manages all developmental and planning activities from site evaluation to grid and infrastructure. Analysis, ensuring a time, ensuring on time and on budget development. We engage with customers, community, stakeholders, and relevant local authorities at every development stage to align, develop delivery expe expectations, and ensure compliance with regulatory permitting and consenting requirements. So, again, they're only going to be able to do this in a state that is friendly to this kind of stuff. And Texas, right, they got to be friendly to yeah. energy. Yeah, I can to see where Utah, yeah. Nevada. Well, maybe Texas can be the leader in this, and 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 other states will look at it. Yeah, you know, definitely. and and if if the energy's cheap, these data centers are going to come start popping up all over. So you think Wyoming want to get the data centers over there, so they'll start popping up these uh, micro reactors, and the data centers appear in Wyoming. You know, yeah. yeah. To expedite our project delivery timeline, Last Energy manages all on-site assembly, system, and equipment installation and final commissioning of our power plants. The modularity and standardization of our units allow for a simplified and accelerated delivery timeline requiring just four months of field assembly. Usually it's like four years to build a, a nuclear complex. Yeah. And and yeah this and and huge amounts of property right i mean they're not yeah they're, they're not putting these things on on a few acres they're, they're building them on just yeah mass pieces of property so yeah by utilizing pro, uh, proven reactor technology we we leverage operational predictability and design simplicity to achieve a streamlined nuclear licensing process our fleet approach means deploying a standard replicable product at scale rather than embarking on a bespoke construction project, thus allowing us to accelerate and streamline subsequent deployments. So, yeah. This sounds fun. awesome. It, it really does. does. Yeah. Last Energy provides customers and the grid with reliable carbon-free electricity and heat at a fixed price through power purchase agreements, PPAs, eliminating upfront capital requirements for energy customers. Our 20 megawatt equivalent output allows us to scale the number of units to meet evolving customer demand and complement or replace existing infrastructure. So these PPAs, that's what uh, big solar farms, a, a county or a state will establish a PPA with that manufacturer. And then the manufacturer upkeeps it, does everything for it. And then the state pays the money that for they're the saving from the energy or that they're collecting from the consumers. Yeah. So again, going back to a, a topic that we did here, a, a, what was it about a month ago when we talked about those uh, 
that solar um, plant in uh, uh, they call it I Ivanpah. It's actually Ivanpah. Yeah, it's just a little way south of Prim, Nevada. Uh, what happened there? Why did that go south? You know, I mean, let's just... let's put some uh, micro reactors there. Take up the mirrors and put micro reactors. Yeah, and they've got a lot of property there. So, as the dedicated asset for the last years, all operations and maintenance of our power plants, including continuous systems and equipment monitoring, routine maintenance, planned refueling cycles, and waste management. These activities promote uninterrupted operations and minimal human intervention. So this sounds like it's a complete package here. Yeah. Win-win. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, so, it, ain't, it ain't happening in California anytime soon. That's yeah, too bad. Well, if Texas is a leader, maybe California will follow. Yeah, maybe. But I'm thinking like Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, you mentioned places where there's just tons of tons of property and places for these uh, these data centers and also you know like a model community right let's start let's build a community of like four or five hundred homes four or five thousand homes put a couple of these there and see uh, see how it goes yeah, yeah. trump's got to be thinking about that when he was talking about building these cities yeah so yeah. i was reading an article over the weekend that said another Washington based company, I think it said Washington based, is going to build a fusion reactor in Washington. And it Washington. said, it said, it said it's what Washington. county, but I can't remember. So Washington State, you're talking. Yeah. About. Yeah. And it's going to, it'll be complete within three years and come online like 2030. And, you know, I'm thinking, we've reported on this, Scott. They've only achieved 22 minutes of plasma. So, is this company banking on they're going to crack the plasma problem and, and ha now have fusion? I mean, seems kind of risky. Unlimited amounts of fusion? That would be cool. It sounds risky when, when you can't crack the plasma problem. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, yeah. if they're going to do it, I guess there's something on the horizon that they're going to have a breakthrough. We'll be watching stay, for that. Yeah, stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. All right, folks. Thanks for joining right. us. We'll catch you uh, in the afternoon. Take care, everyone. Thanks.